know my next guest tonight from Guardians of the Galaxy, The Hobbit, and Pushing Daisies. He now stars in Driven. Please welcome Lee Pace. Welcome back. Nice to see you again. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, Ellen Sila Lumen. Lumen. Wait. Oh. Ella I Silver. messed it up. Ella Sila Lumen Is that what you're trying to say? Yes, it is. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he, was, uh, he was Thranduil in the Hobbit movies, and you were greeting me as yes. Frodo greets Gildor and Glorian. In uh, in the Lord of the Rings, yeah, this, the the right. star shines on the hour of our meeting. Right, it's not surprising that you might have trouble saying that because your character Thranduil is Sindar, and that sentence is actually Quenya, which is the Noldorian elves' language, <laughs> not the Sindar elves' language. So you speak Sindarin, not Quenya, so it's totally understandable. You know, I'm I'm admirer of you as an, as an actor, but I'm also admire your wig work. Can I go over some of your wig work with you right now? Oh. It's pretty, oh. it's pretty amazing stuff. Okay, Please. okay here we go. Is very serious. This huh? is actually, actually, it's very beautiful. This is uh, Lee in Soldier's Girl. It's called Pernia. Yeah, that was the, the first movie I'd ever done. So that was the, the first wig I wore. Absolutely, absolutely okay, lovely. Yeah. This is you as John D. DeLorean in Driven. This year, yes, right now, that's it's, that's it's the about movie. To come that's out. That, yeah, we're about to. Of course, it's about to come out on Friday. Here, here is you as Thranduil, the the king. There it is. And here, here is your son Legolas. Wow, okay. now that yeah. is. <laughs> that is some wicked. Tell me about the new film Driven, because DeLorean, he's a fascinating. Figure. He was a giant in the car world, and this is kind of about his downfall. Well, this is, yeah, I was looking for uh, a chance to wear another wig, and um, <laughs> I, uh, I got the opportunity to play John DeLorean. Yeah, he, he had uh, designed and manufactured the GTO, sure. the Firebird, and he went out on his own and uh, tried to set up the DeLorean Motor Company with this incredible car. This car that was made out of stainless steel so it wouldn't rust, with doors that lifted up on the side so you could park it anywhere. He was like, he wanted to make this car that was affordable for everyone, that looked great, and it didn't really turn out that way. <laughs> um, because in the end, he had to uh, put together a cocaine deal in order to uh, keep the company going. And right. <laughs> he was literally funding it with drug money. Exactly, and they got him. And, and the car also, and this is just a side note, sucked. <laughs> the car it turned out to be terrible. It actually was not a very well-built car. It, was not aware, it wasn't the car that he set out to make. Uh-huh. Yeah. And why wasn't it? Do you, did you explore why it wasn't a good car? Well, there's a lot, he had to make so many cars. He couldn't get the financing in the States. He tried to get it made in, in Puerto Rico. It didn't get, he found a really good deal in Belfast where he ended up manufacturing the car. Sure. Um, and um, and that, that, of course, is across the ocean, so they had to bring the cars over to the United States. So there was just one compromise after another that led to the car not being what it could have been. We, we have a clip know? here with Johnny Carson. Johnny Carson owned a DeLorean that evidently kept breaking down. And, <laughs> and anything else we need to know about this? No, no, let's, play, let's, let, let's watch it. Let's, yeah, Jim, yeah. let's watch it. Watch? John DeLorean. I've got Johnny Carson on the phone. Hey, Johnny! DeLorean, you sold me a piece of <laughs> <laughs> Good joke, Johnny. How's it taking those corners? Damn it, I'm serious. It broke down five minutes from a showroom. Johnny, you've got one of our first models, and there's bound to be teething problems, so we'll send a new car out to you first thing in the morning. You already did that, and it broke down again, you fraud. <laughs> Guys, that's why he's the number one talk show host in America, right? <laughs> and then, and then the cocaine. Yeah. Well, the car was, manu like I said, manufactured in Belfast, and the, the Belfast workers, though tremendously hardworking, don't have a tradition of, of manufacturing cars. In fact, the last thing of note that they made was the Titanic. So, two points out. make a line. Yeah. <laughs> Lee, nice to see you again. Thanks for being here. Thank you so much. Driven is in theaters and available on demand tomorrow. Lee Pace, everybody. We'll be right back. <laughs>